Howdy, folks. I am at a favorite little apartment pond of mine. I like to call this my pick-me-up pond. It's just this little pond in front of these apartments. And this thing is usually just loaded out with tiny fish. Uh, it's got a lot of little sunfish and it's way overpopulated with small bass. So if I'm having a bad streak of luck, things just ain't going my way. Uh, I like to come here and just get some fish under my belt. And if you saw my last video, I could definitely use a pick-me-up. So that's what we're doing. There's a break in the weather. So it's been raining, been cold. It's still kind of cold. It's not like terrible, but with the wind, it's, uh, it's got a good bite to it. So we're gonna get cast around in here. Probably not stay for too long. Just was out and about in the area. Figured I'd stop, catch a few fish. So let's do it. First challenge is always just getting over the gate here. I like to come over by this tree because it's kind of raised up. There we go. The water's looking a, kind of a funky blue color. There's not usually all this algae around, but got my little rod with me. Been using it a lot lately, but I know the fish don't get particularly large in here. I think the biggest one I ever caught, I don't think it even broke a pound. We're, uh, we're switching out today. And I'm gonna try using a bit of a moving bait. All this rain, it hasn't been like super cold rain. So I'm wondering if maybe it warmed the water up. We're gonna throw around. See if uh, anything's active. My lure's not swimming right. It's always a good way to start off. Let's fix that. Is that a fish? I think I got a fish. Feels real weird. Yeah, I do. Awesome. All right, first fish. Ah, that's why he felt weird. He's foul hooked. Yeah, I took a swipe at it and he missed. Oh no, that's, that's in his mouth. All right, we'll call that a real hook. Um, oh, just fell out. All right, well, first up, little tiny large mouth. That's kind of what I came here to catch. So, hot diggity. Oof. My lure is still swimming really awkward and I don't understand why. Let's fix this. Pretty sure I just had a bite. I'm gonna buy there again and see. Whoop! I just saw that fish come out and take it, but he went right into this grass and the gunk. Damn it! Okay, so hiding up. Underneath the goo seems to be some fish. Cause I watched him just sprint out from under it and grab the lure. What do you want? He went up in it. I got tangled up a bit. Oh, that's a bad cast. I don't want to have to drag it all the way through all this stuff. This is where having a longer rod would come in handy because I can uh, hold it out on the other side of it. There's the fish. Got to reach around awkward for my pliers. He's got them all up in there. Yunk. One. Get the other one out of you. There we go. A little bit bigger, maybe about the same. I don't know. But there's fish in here. And that's the most important part. 
so I get to hang out and catch them. I need to put these back where they go on my little satchel belt thing. I'm glad the fish are still in here. When I saw the color of the water, I thought that maybe it had been treated with something and that it possibly killed them all off. But that doesn't seem to be the case. Although, to be fair, this pond could use about half its fish being killed off. They do not. What the hell just happened here? That was odd. My line just kind of flew itself off the reel. I haven't really used this reel in a couple years. Finally changed out that clicking one. With the one I just had sitting around. And uh, I had it sitting around for a reason. It's not terrible. It, it gets the job done, but it's not the greatest reel. It's a little broken. Look, did it again. What is with that? I don't understand. See if I can... No, that's just going to be a big knot, I think. Yeah, okay, we're gonna cut this, hand line our little thing in, retie, because apparently it just doesn't like that. It'd be pretty dope to catch a fish doing this though. No such luck. Alright. Take all our ugh, extra line here and put that in the pocket. I don't know why that kept doing that. There, hopefully that fixes the issue. We don't got a lot of line left on here though. Yeah. Right. Nothing in here is big enough to spool us out though. There we go. Down in the grass again. And he got off. They're good about going and slipping, like coming out of the grass, grabbing it, going back in, throwing the hook. It's another one that I saw dart out and snatch it, and go back in. Uh, little tiny trebles on this guy aren't great for sticking a fish. Like they can hold on to them. It gets in there in just the right spot, but they're not hard to pull back out. <clears throat> All right, I'm just gonna have to change this lure because it's just not acting right. It just keeps spinning around in little circles and I don't get it. All right. New Bitsy Minnow, same lure, just different colors. Let's see if this one swims right, because that one's been giving me all kinds of trouble. Caught a few fish, but... Eh, what is this one doing? This one seems to be working just like it's supposed to. Just swimming and bobbing. That was a good bite. Yes, yeah, the fish like it more when your lures act like they're supposed to. There we go. Hey, yunk. Yeah, that guy's a little fatter. Drug himself through the goo. Damn goo just gets everywhere. He's not even really hardly hooked. Look at that. But, yeah, another 
the largemouth. I know that there's more than just largemouth in here too. There's some sunfish. I don't remember which one. I think it's green, which is unfortunate for the largemouth. Hopefully we can uh, catch some of them as well. We'll see. There's a fish. There was a fish, damn it. This algae really throwing me for a loop here. I keep losing fish. There we go. Ooh, that's a that's a better one. No, oh, man, that stuff must be deep. He's digging into it. Come on, there we go. There's a real fish. Hold still, buddy. Yeah, that's that's a respectable little fish. That's about as big as I see him come out of here too. Yeah, he got stuck good. Very top little lip. It's a pretty bony little plate. Pretty hard there, and they got their teeth. It's where they used to uh, pinch craws mouths off, or pincers off. Uh, there you go. Nice fish. I'm gonna give him a bit of a chuck to get over all this algae. There we go. I'm gonna get it all off the lure. That algae's deeper than I thought. He was fully burying himself down into it. Not big ones, but there's some. Nah, there's plenty of them, man. There's just they're only about four inches long. That's still good though. It's something. You might notice that I keep sticking my finger in the line here when I'm reeling. It's a very good reason for that, and I'll show you it in just a minute in case anyone was wondering. Uh, my lure's being squirrely again. Just a second. All right. If I don't do that, see my... Uh, my bale here, kind of wonky, it's a little messed up. And the line doesn't naturally go all the way to the end. If I don't do it, then my line will just stay wrapping right around the top of the spool. And I get this weird, like all up here instead of evenly throughout it thing. And that's one of the reasons I quit using this reel. Still works just fine. I just, you know, you gotta fandangle it a little. There we go. Over the goop. Yeah. It's a nice little bass. They ain't big, but they fun. Wish I had my tiny pliers. Uh, forgot to put them back in the Jeep, apparently. There we go. A little bit of color. I barely even felt that. I saw it, so I set the hook. That's why I 
he just kind of grabbed it and sat there. That's why I just kind of yanked him out of the water like that. Knock it off. Knock it off. Another little nice bass. Now my, my lure is caught in my flannel. Oh. Never used to be a problem. There you go. Oh, just about done with our loop around the pond. Maybe we'll get uh, one, or one more, maybe. Maybe. Doesn't seem like they care much for the open water. They all want to be up along the banks under this moss, which really is just not ideal for me. But that's where the fish want to be. That is where I will try to target and catch them. Well, that'll do it. That's it. We made a full lap around the pond. Caught some little fish, had a nice time. And that's all I was here for. It's a quick session, a little pick me up, catch some fish. I got, I did get one nice one out of here, you know, for the size that this one can produce. But, hope you all didn't mind, it wasn't too exciting, but I, I had a good time. So, I'll catch y'all next time. Thanks for watching, see ya.